with The Rachel Maddow Show, weeknights at 9 Eastern on MSNBC. I am old enough that my video game system of choice, the video game console imprinted on my muscle memory and on my mind, is this one. Oh yes, the Atari, the wood grain Atari. I had this exact one when I was a kid. You hooked it up to the TV machine and you played games that came on these black cartridges that sort of looked like eight tracks. And I didn't think about it like this at the time, granted I was only eight, uh, but looking back on it now, the games were mostly either uh, manual dexterity games about how good you were physically at using your hand-eye coordination in order to accomplish something on the screen. So like Pong, of course, manual dexterity game, that was a classic. Uh, there was also Kaboom. My mom was amazing at Kaboom. I still remember coming home from elementary school and catching my mother playing Kaboom on the Atari and doing way better than I ever could. Uh, other manual dexterity games were things like uh, Frogger and Pac-Man. I mean, there's a little strategy involved in these games, but it is, I mean, it's mostly just about manual dexterity and hand-eye coordination. Then the other main category, it seems to me, uh, was, was killing games. Space Invaders, right, where the aliens are trying to kill you and you're trying to shoot them. My favorite killing game was called Adventure, where you were a little sword, right, guy that walked around and picked, you were like a little block and you picked up the sword and then you poked things with the sword and you killed dragons that looked like ducks and stuff, see? That was my favorite. I mean, there were definitely exceptions, right? But the two broad categories of early video games measured either your best fast twitch hand-eye coordination, like the stuff my mother was good at, uh, or best combat, killing the dragon ducks. Those are the things that I was good at. Uh, the one smash hit early video game that sort of broke that dual model, that was neither, was a game called Sim City. In Sim City, what you were doing was essentially urban planning. Uh, basically zero manual dexterity required and as far as I remember, zero killing, too. In SimCity, you were building a new urban environment, including utilities and population centers and schools and stuff. SimCity was urban planning as after-school entertainment. Well, SimCity now has a weird cameo role in this year's Republican presidential nominating process. If there's one thing you know about current Republican presidential frontrunner Herman Cain, other than the fact that he was CEO of a mafia-themed pizza chain, if there's one thing you know about Herman Cain, it is probably this. My 999 plan. 999. Herman Cain has an economic plan called the way you call emergency services in England. Uh, and that also happens to be, 999 happens to be, the tax structure of SimCity Volume 4. Not kidding. That's how it's set up, the tax structure in your simulated world. 999. Uh, since most economists think the 99 plan, 999 plan is, um, uh, and Mr. Cain says his advisors are secret, uh, people Googling around to figure out where Herman Cain might have come up with the 999 plan, uh, what might be the basis for his thinking about this, uh, hit pretty quickly on the SimCity video game connection. Could his 999 idea have come from urban planning as after-school entertainment? Mr. Cain was asked about that today during a campaign stop in Tennessee. Watch. Today says the 999 is modeled after a Sims video game from 2003. What do you say about that? You said you had original ideas, successful people around you thinking those ideas up. Is it an original idea or modeled after a game? It's, a, it's an original idea, and to people who say it's modeled after a game, it's a lie. That's all I'm going to say. It is a lie. You see, that's the difference when you become one and two in the polls. People make up stuff. That is a lie, and I'm not going to take it back, and I'm not going to politically say, well, unfortunately, that is not totally true. It's a lie. Thank you. Thank you all very much. No, thank you very much. Herman Cain uh, giving up the opportunity to cultivate the aging but still enthusiastic urban planning video game market uh, by claiming proudly his 999 plans SimCity Origins. Mr. Cain denying that allegation.